Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to talk about hunting knives. You've just shot your animal, you've just went and found it, and now the work's going to start. And having a sharp hunting knife is going to make that job safer and easier. So when I'm out in the field, I carry two knives with me. I carry a folder in my pocket, and then I carry a fixed blade in my pack. Both of those knives are sharp when I go out into the field. Um, I sharpen them at home to an angle that I have know and that is going to complement the sharpener that I'm going to have out into the field with me. Last thing I want to do is need to touch up my knife and have to do extra work because I'm going into it some type of an angle change, which is going to take me a long time. The secret to keeping your knife sharp out in the field is to hone often. As you're working your animal, as you're skinning, and you feel like you start having to apply more pressure to the, to the cut, stop, take the 20 to 30 seconds it's gonna take to go to the ceramic hone on your sharpener and do a quick touch up. It's gonna give you cleaner cuts, it's safer, and ultimately will end up saving you some time. So I carry a folder and a fixed blade for two different reasons. One, the folder is just for all my general cuts. Um, you know, if I need to hang meat, I have something I can cut twine with. I can clear branches out with it. Um, I also use that for the skinning and gutting. Once I get to that point where I'm actually breaking down the meat, removing quarters, removing back straps and that, I have a knife dedicated strictly for cutting just the meat so I don't risk, run the risk of having contamination from hair or dirt or bringing anything from the inside of the animal out because um, I want to keep my meat as clean as possible before I take it out of the field. So before I leave the house I make sure to sharpen both the knives that I'm going to carry with me. I sharpen both of them at 20 degrees because I know that angle complements the angle guides on the sharpener that I'm going to carry into the field. Let me show you how to do this. Once my knife starts becoming dull, pull out my sharpener. I'm going to come straight up here to the fine ceramic. I'm going to lay my knife on that angle guide right here. And I'm going to use light pressure as I go down and across the knife blade or the, the ceramic, holding that same angle the entire way down. Then I'll start at the bottom and I'll do the same stroke on the way up. After a few quick strokes, you're right back to a razor sharp edge. So in the heat of the moment, you've killed this animal, your adrenaline's going crazy, you, you're excited about it, you're working on your animal, and you work for too long and then you realize, wow, my knife is dull. Now it's worse than I can pick up on just the ceramic. We have to go back in and we have to go do a touch up on this knife now. We're gonna move over to the diamond side of, of the, the sharpener. We're going to do the same process we did here on the ceramic for honing. We're going to use light pressure. We're going to move slow, light pressure, and having a controlled movement is much safer and just as effective as somebody that wants to apply heavy pressure and move really fast. So please, light pressure, controlled movements. We're going to lay our knife on the guide, on the angle guide, down and across, following the curve of the knife all the way up to the tip. Alternate that stroke back up. We're going to give it three to four strokes per side. To make sure we get all the way down to that cutting edge. And then we're going to rotate over, back over to the fine home. We'll bring me back to a sharp knife again. Now you're ready to continue working. There's a lot of field sharpeners out there to help you maintain your knife in the field. Which one you carry isn't all that important as long as it complements the angle of the knife that you have on it when you go out into the field. Myself personally, um, I prefer to carry the guided field sharpener unless I'm going to be out for a while and I'm concerned about weight and then I'll carry the guided pocket knife sharpener. Thanks for joining us for another video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Have a great hunting season.